I'm going to tie a looped wing emerger and I'm starting off with a size 12 scud hook in the vise. You can tie these obviously a lot smaller. I want to make sure that I have the uh, size here that will show up well on camera. I'm going to use an 8 aught gray thread for this so I'll just get that started about the midway point of the hook shank. And I can break off the excess. Uh, the tail that I'll use is a barred mallard flank, so I'm just going to take maybe a half a dozen fibers or so and tie them in. Now I'll sit it right on top to kind of measure it out, make a couple of wraps, but then I'll hold it to the side and almost tie it into the side here until I get down to where my final wraps will be. Then I'll rotate it and make sure that I give couple of turns there so it sits right on top. What that does is it, it spreads those tail fibers out and I'll bring my thread back up to about the midway point in the hook shank and get ready to tie in my body material which I'm going to use a, a natural natural by meaning uh, it's not dyed goose biot and I'll take the longest one I have, and you can see it's kind of a gray, it's got a little black black trim on the side. And I want this to have relatively even body segments, and so I'll tie it in by the point, but I'm going to tie it in far enough up the hook shank so that when I get back to the, to the tail, that I've got nice even, nice even segments that it'll create. So I'll take my hackle pliers and just pinch it on the the end of this and then I can start to take my take my wraps all the way through and again I just want to make sure that they're nice even wraps all the way up through the next one starts where the last one ends and I'll bring that all the way up to my thread and then tie that in one trick with that, if you get uh, that your material is splitting, uh, if you soak these in, in water, uh, they're much more agreeable to tie in. So now I'll put in just two pieces of flash to this, and this just to create kind of an air bubble effect uh, behind the, the wing itself. So I'll take my two pieces of flash, hold them together, I'm going to tie them in right on top. and not much to this. I'll trim them pretty short so maybe only a, a segment or two down the down the body. Again, probably doesn't do a whole lot but gives it just one more piece of visual interest there. Now for the wing, I'm going to use a CDC Puff and the reason why I like that, and I'll show you what it looks like, is that they're easy to work with. They come like this. They have kind of a little stem to them. Um, so this is going to make up my wing. So what I'll do is I'll hold it by the tip and I'm going to brush these fibers to the front. And I'm just going to take a very small, maybe a, a sixteenth of an inch or so portion out. And I'm just going to wet them. And what that does is it pulls all those fibers together and makes it real easy to tie in. But you can see I didn't lose any of the bulk that I'm going to need when I make my, my looped wing. All right, so the thorax for this, I really like to use this uh, ice dub, and this is a UV tan. And so I'll take a pinch of that, and what I like about it is the way it's cut, it really dubs onto a, to the thread very nicely and gives you a real nice tight, a nice tight dubbing noodle. So I'll get that on. And then I'll just start to dub this thorax in. And then from here, I'm just going to adjust my hook slightly. I always get nervous when I get to the front of the <laughs> front of the fly that it's going to come unravel. And if you're really worried, you can throw in a couple of half hitches here. But I'm going to live dangerously today. So the the legs for this, I'm going to use a done hackle. And this is just a dry fly hackle. And I'll take off 
a size that's going to match my match my hook. I'm just cleaning out the bottom of it. So I've got that and I'm just going to tie that into the front of the fly just at the end of my dubbing ball there. And then I'll advance my thread to just behind the just behind the eye. Now I can just start to wrap my hackle forward and I'll take maybe a couple of close turns to that to that dubbing ball and then bring one or two forward. I'll pull all of that back when I tie it in. Now I'm going to advance my thread back far enough to where my loop will come through. So I can clean all this up and what I do is take off take off this top section as well. So I'm going to give it a haircut. I just want those bottom fibers to stick out. Alright, now I can take my CDC and I'll fold it over. Instead of folding it over real tight, you just take it and you push it back up on itself and then I pinch it here with my with my left hand and now I can start to take my wraps through. I'll put in a whip finish and then I can clean up that stem and then where that stem was removed I can whip finish over top of it just to clean everything up. And with these puffs you may get a couple of runaway fibers. You can just pull those off. Um, if you'd like, you can put a drop of head cement both on the front as well as as well as the back. And that will keep everything kind of nice and, and in place. So that is my looped wing. That's a CDC emerger.